welcome back and thanks for watching. Today we're going to be shortening up this 22 inch length Remington 7600 with a Manson Precision Reamers muzzle crown and refacing kit. Normally I would do this in a lathe but with the 7600s when I cut them down to 18 and a half inches or carbon length not able to fit it through the headstock of my lathe. So um, this kit has proved to be accurate and uh, easy to use. So let's get started. The first thing we do is remove the existing front sight. In this case we are going to reinstall the sight in a separate video. But that needs to come off so we can chop the barrel down. With the sight off, we're now going to mark it at 18 and a half inches, which is a standard 7600 carbon length barrel. Now my favorite part, cut the barrel off. Well, wasn't that a lovely sound? On the life of the facing tool, I square up the face of the barrel with a single cut flat file. Um, Manson offers two ways to run these carbide cutters. One's with the um, hand method, which we'll show in the video, and then they also offer an adapter set so that you can use a drill. You'll have to select the correct barrel insert for the caliber of barrel you have. They offer a multiple range of insert sizes that you can use to accommodate all different calibers. The wrench they provide can also be used as a height gauge for their uh, barrel inserts. And you tighten it up, finger turn, and then quarter turn, or finger tight, then quarter turn with the wrench. We're going to start with a 90 degree facing cutter that will clean up all of our file marks and get us ready for the next step. Use a good cutting oil. I use uh, Dew Drill from Brownells. Works pretty well for me. We'll go nice and slow with light pressure with our drill. Continue this process until all the final marks are gone and we can see that it's nice and square up to the edges of the barrel. I also clean off the cutters quite frequently with the blowgun and then re-oil the surface. That looks good. Everything's nice and clean. I can keep it from getting too blurry. 
and uh, now we'll cut the outside bevel on the edge of the barrel. I like to cut this outside bevel by hand. I don't use the drill for that. It helps you to give the pressure needed so you don't cut it too deep. And you're really just breaking the edge of this. You're not cutting any major bevels. Um, you could, but I like to keep it a pretty light cut. Our holder supplied with the kit is spring-loaded, so you can't put too much excessive pressure down on the cutter. Notice that the cutter wobbles a little bit when you're cutting this outside edge. The barrel bore isn't perfectly centered with the barrel itself, and that's because the exterior of the barrel gets polished mechanically later on in the process and that allows for a little difference in thickness from side to side from the bore to the edge of the barrel. Okay our final cut will be with an 11 degree reamer. Uh, I like to use 11 degrees. A lot of target crowns are 11 degrees. Remington really liked it. It's, a lot of their target crowns were also 11 degrees. So let's make the final cut. I like to finish up using the hand tool just so I don't have any chatter marks from the drill. Here's a bit of a close up on the mandrel. It's uh, got an expander on both ends to hold it tight and perpendicular to the barrel, parallel to the barrel. The final step before blowing this will be using 600 grit. I use diamond lapping compound to lap the bore with a brass lap and just put light pressure with the drill and move the lap in both directions while rotating clockwise and counterclockwise with the drill. Finally, we're going to clean it up with some denatured alcohol and we're going to use Brownells Oxford Blue to protect the muzzle from corrosion. I didn't show it in this video, but it's extremely important that you clean this bore out with a brush and a swab to make sure that there's no file residue or chips in it before firing. Say hi to everybody today. Oh, a big stretch. Okay. <laughs>